Welcome to our tech tutorial. Today we're tackling a question that many developers encounter while building applications with Material UI. Our viewer is working on a chat application and has run into a snag with the Material UI text field component. They want to know why they can't use refs to access the input value and if there are any workarounds available. Welcome back to another technical video. Today we're going to be going through your question, going through some of the answers, and hopefully finding that solution. Guys, remember to stay just a little bit crazy and work through to that resolution. Now, let's get started. In this video, we'll address the issue of using Material UI's text field with refs in a React application. Let's start by understanding the problem. In your current implementation, you're using a native HTML input element, which works fine with refs. However, when you switch to Material UI's text field, it doesn't behave the same way. To access the value of a Material UI text field, you should use the onChange event to update the state directly instead of relying on refs. Here's how you can modify your code. This way, you can manage the input value through the component state, ensuring that your application remains responsive and functional. If you still prefer to use refs, consider using the React create ref method instead of the string refs, as it is the recommended approach in modern React. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. If your Material UI component reference isn't working, try using React's create ref. Specifically, for the input field, use input ref instead of ref. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. If you're using a stateless functional component with Material UI, you can utilize React hooks for better functionality. In the example, a button is created to focus on a text field and set its value after a short delay. The text field is set up to be required and uses the input ref to link to the button's functionality. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. The method you're using to reference elements is outdated. Instead, check the React documentation for updated practices. You can use a ref callback to access the text field component. To get the value from the text field, simply call this.input.getValue. For a practical example, check out the provided GitHub link. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer.
You don't need to use ref in the onChange method for Material UI's text field. Instead, it passes two parameters, event and value. You can directly access the new value without using ref. According to the Material UI documentation, the onChange function is triggered when the text field's value changes. It provides an event object and the new value as parameters. Let's now look at another user-suggested answer. To manage multiple text field elements in Material UI, you can access them using this dot name within your class. You can still use refs, but you'll need to pass a function and add a property directly to the class. Material UI provides a dot get value method to retrieve the value from the text field. In your handle question method, you can set the state with the value from the text field. Here's a code snippet showing how to implement this. You define a ref for the text field and use it to get the value when the input changes. I hope that video helped find the resolution you're looking for. If it did, guys, I'd appreciate it if you could hit subscribe. Until the next time that you need more technical help, I hope you have a good one. Cheers.